New tonight, New York's Attorney General Eric Schneiderman has filed a lawsuit against former Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein and his company. This comes after a four-month-long investigation into dozens of allegations of sexual misconduct. CBS News' Aaron Logan joins us live in studio with the details. Aaron. Jessica, the lawsuit was filed against Harvey Weinstein, his brother Robert, and the Weinstein Company. It charges that company officials repeatedly violated New York law by failing to protect its employees from pervasive sexual harassment, intimidation, and discrimination. Since October, Harvey Weinstein has been under the microscope after countless women have accused him of sexual misconduct, even assault. Now in the lawsuit that was filed today, the attorney general says the company was aware of Weinstein's misconduct and repeatedly failed to stop it or investigate. Some accusations included in the lawsuit, Weinstein exposed himself to a female employee and laid naked on a bed while making her take dictation from him. The company employed a group of females referred to as his roster, or wing women, hired to facilitate sexual conquests. Assistants had copies of a document called The Bible, which included his likes and dislikes and directions on how to arrange sexual encounters referred to as personals. Weinstein's drivers in both New York and Los Angeles were required to have available condoms and erectile dysfunction injections in the car at all times. He also allegedly harassed harassed employees telling them, quote, I will kill you, I will kill your family, and words to that effect. Now, the timing of this lawsuit comes just before the sale of Weinstein's company was expected to be finalized. Before that happens, the attorney general says he wants to make sure all victims are compensated and employees are protected in the future. Jessica? All right, thank you, Aaron.